Okay. Once again, this says I'm actually broadcasting. I don't know if I am, but I didn't have no way for this car to go because I want to get one over. All right. Okay, so I'm in Oostend, um, Belgium. I've just done a give or take almost 3,000 mile round trip. Last night, I got to Calais. Well, no, sorry. I got to 60 miles, 100 kilometers from Calais. I was one hour from the Eurotunnel train that takes me back to the UK. And my car broke down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but well, my van, so right, bro. So, here I am now, because of uh, RAC and all their nonsense. Here I am now, walking around a random, nice, but quiet, town, well probably a city because I think it's a cathedral, city in Belgium called Oostend. Uh, <laughs> it's quite insane to do all that driving all the way around Europe. I went up to Sweden, I stopped in Hamburg a couple of times, Reef Bomb is awesome. Um, Sweden is beautiful and now I am here in Oostend. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say, man. Let me take this hand over. There we go. I don't know what to say. So I figured I will share, because I bought this new uh, live streaming camera. I will share the area with everyone. You can have a look around as I walk around. Lots of yachts. I'm hoping to buy a yacht. I wasn't going to buy a yacht this year, but the way life is kicking me in the teeth, I think next year is going to be my yacht year. Oh man. Nice weather. <laughs> when in doubt, the weather will sort you out. Yeah, it's quite nice here, you can see. People are chilling on their boats. They want to invite me on, that'd be great. This it's a nice place, it's quiet though. The hotel I'm staying in, uh that I can't remember the name of now but who cares. The hotel that I'm staying in, really, really nice, and it's directly outside the shops. So I woke up late, and I heard everything going on, had a shower, put some clean clothes on, came downstairs and everything's finished. There's no one around. So I thought, let me go for a walk, get some food. I tried to go to the gym, you know, I'm trying to get on this health kick, try and lose these extra pounds, there's a few thousand of them. And apparently there's a bus, bus strike today even though I hate buses, so I probably wouldn't done it anyway, but there's a bus strike, and the only two gyms are miles away. Well, the only two gyms that are private that I can go to are miles away. So, unable to check those out. What I wanna do quickly is I wanna stop and just double check this is actually streaming. So bear with me for like a minute or two when I make sure this is working. So I have no idea, I have no way of telling if it is or not other than going to my own YouTube and seeing if it's there. How about YouTube? So my channel. Oh, oh, it says I'm live. It says I'm actually live. So if I click, yeah, I'm live. Oh, hang on. It doesn't appear to be Oh yeah, it's VR. It is VR. Just want to double check. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I know it's working. It's on the correct channel and it's streaming where I need to be. So I'm all good with that. <laughs> the phone even says there's one person watching, so I'm that one person. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I bought this camera. I wanted to make sure that it actually works and it does. So I'm obviously very happy with that. Um, quality by the looks of it and I'm talking to myself, but it doesn't really matter. I enjoy this. I got into I, the idea, I got the idea of doing YouTube, so I thought I'm gonna um, make YouTube videos and get rich like everyone else thought. And then um, life took over and I was too damn busy to make quality videos. So I made little test ones and didn't really work out too well. I got lots of footage, but couldn't really put it up there. And then I found out about VR and I thought, you know what, I just love VR. I don't really care about making money. I just love being able to see everything and remember everything. You know, look around at things that, that places I've been to. So, 
what my plan is now is I'm going to keep streaming when I go places, keep recording when I can, and if no one ever watched these videos, it doesn't matter, because for me, myself, I got the memories, and that's important for me. You know, obviously, money's nice. If I get 30 million people watching, that'd be great, but if I don't, it's cool. I get to look back at all these beautiful places. I mean, we don't, we have these things back home, but not so much. This, this city's nice, don't we? It's not amazing. I was in Switzerland, Geneva yesterday, and I kind of regret not recording in Geneva because that place is beautiful. But I intend to go back soon. I intend to go back and make uh, the most of it. Do more, see more, record more. The dog there chilling on that boat. My dog will be barking at the uh, at the ducks and the geese. <laughs> come here, ducks! Come here, geese! Not you, Swan. You're a bit dangerous. But everyone else, come here. It's weird. These look like council estate buildings to the right of me. I mean, these are quite nice. But that block over there looks like a council block. But then, in fact, they all kind of look very council estate-ish. And there's a lot of hotels here, so maybe that. It's a very weird layout. You have this yachting harbour here, which would obviously assume money. I mean, they've got more money, more money than me, so, you know. <laughs> but they don't, look, they don't look especially, especially expensive yachts. Um, bar a couple. The majority of them look within normal man reach, which is great, because sort of thing that I'm looking at, you know. I want something, something like the little one there sitting on back there, just be back there, something like that. But I, d I can't work out if it's a rich area or not. I can't, it looks more like an everyman area where middle class, as opposed to Switzerland, which was ridiculously upper class. You know, when I looked at hotels in Geneva, the cheapest one that I was looking at was 380 pounds, I think it was, a night. <laughs> and there were some that were going for ridiculous money. So it shows the difference. I mean, I'm staying in a four star, if I'm staying in that hotel there, What's it called? I'm staying in Burlington. It's a four-star hotel, which appears to be right in the middle of their town centre, their city centre. I mean, the this yachting harbour here, the beach isn't far away at all. If I walk straight down here, I'm not sure where the beach is, but I looked on the map and there is a beach near here. I'm not going to can't be bothered. <laughs> but that's only £100 a night. So that's very cheap for a central a central city with a, with a water view hotel. So it seems to be a sort of place you can come to and not break the bank. I checked the shops today. They have, you know, your normals, your Pandora's, your Zara's for you ladies. Uh, I didn't really see many tech shops, which kind of let me down because I love my, techs, my tech shops. Um, I mean, you've got a supermarket there, which I wish I'd known about because I really need some hot sauce for my chicken back indoors. But, it seems to be a nice place that won't break the bank. A quiet place. You're, 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 I mean, it's Saturday night at the moment. Saturday, and here it is. If I double check the time. 10 past nine on a Saturday. Nothing's really going on. This is where you come to relax. I'm gonna go to that cathedral, gonna have a look. So even though I can't stand religion, I don't use the word hate, but I can't stand religion, I do, love the architecture um, and the art that comes along with it the history along with it even if it is I do feel it's misguided so I do want to go and have a quick look at that and then I'm going to go and feed myself a Chinese because you know I'm getting skinny I need to put some weight on that's a complete lie you fat bastard um, and then I'm going to go and get back watch some more Orange is the New Black which I'm getting into at the moment I'm on season two at the moment Piper just got screwed over by Alex. Anyone hasn't seen it, spoiler alert. <laughs> and uh, yeah, loving this. And I'm not gonna lie, this camera's getting really heavy. I wanna buy myself from those um, rucksacks which has the camera attached to the back so I can just wear it and walk and talk and annoy you people. But it's more natural so I can do stuff. You know, I can go places and look like that. Walking around with this camera, attached to my hand all the time, 
You get the oddest looks like that man just there did. <laughs> you get the oddest looks. You know what I've noticed? I've been out a couple of times today, obviously not with the camera. Ow, my hand hurts. Look at that guy singing along, loving life. I haven't seen one tram. I've seen trains from this, this well, actually, no, I see a train part there. I haven't seen one tram. This is a very quiet area. When you go to Germany, Switzerland, all those sort of places, you see trams every five seconds. I haven't seen one here yet. It makes me wonder, is it, are they even still running? Have they stopped the tram system here? No, I really can't see any. There's really no trams. Big truck followed by a very small bike. Oh, I wish I had my bike. It'd be so nice to go for a ride right now. Just gonna check my map and see how close I am to the beach. Um, so, according to Google Maps. Okay, I see people sitting at the tram stop. Are they gonna be sitting there for the rest of their life? Well, I see you sitting, but I can't see them to come pick you up. Don't know. Okay, where's the water? Come on. Okay, so cool. Ah, oh, okay. So the water's actually just over here. On the other side of Usten Station. Better take a quick walk to the station and have a look. Why not? In the water, the seafront is that way. I'm not again, I'm not getting to it. <laughs> if someone wants to see it that bad, let me know in the comments and I will go over that at some point. I'm considering starting a Patreon where I will let people decide or indeed choose where I go. Places you want to see that I can't, that you can't go to normally. I'll give you the opportunity to say, Right, can you go here, please? Can you go here, please? Can you do this activity? I'd like to see this. What do you consider? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Put that on a Patreon and then you guys help me help you see the world. Because I want to travel everywhere. I'm good to go, but I don't know what people want to see. I don't know people want to, where people want to go. And I'm not going to lie, this station is barren. Is it even open? Oh, it, oh, it opened. Wow. That's a desolate train station. There is nothing here worth seeing. But I have got one hell of an echo. Go, go, go. Right, I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say, please let me leave. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to go over water again. The, I don't know what you described this as. A lock, I don't know. I'm going to cross back over basically. I'm going to go have a quick walk. Look at that cathedral. I mean, the most impressive cathedral I've seen so far is in Cologne. That thing is astonishingly beautiful and intricate. But, um, like I said, as much as I'm not a fan of religion in any form, I do like the buildings of old for a bit of history and the fact that people made this so long ago. I mean, I don't know how easy it would be now, but I'm sure it's a lot harder than a thousand years ago to do. <laughs>
Beautiful. One second, I'm going to share this. That paused my broadcast um, sharing to Facebook. I put cocoa butter on my face. I don't know why I did that. I'm so stupid. I always say don't put cocoa butter on your face if you're anything exactly warm. But you sweat like an animal. And I put cocoa butter on. And now I'm sweating. And that was dumb. Ooh, China Crystal Palace. Oh, there's two Chineses. Which one do I go for? I do love me a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, so a quick, very, very, very quick water, waterside walk. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a very quick look. It's nice. It's good. So it's very impressive. But you know when you've seen the best, you're kind of like meh afterwards. After seeing the cathedral in Cologne, this uh, what well, are very impressive. It doesn't quite stack up. It doesn't quite stack up, you know. Not really up there. It's up, but it's not not, not up enough. Eh. Right, I've seen it. It's a church. Very nice. Next. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me. <laughs> they must thinking, who at this weird eye? God damn. Webcam internet holding weirdo. So, give me a second, I'm going to share this out one more time. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And the uh, arm is absolutely killing me. This tiny little camera weighs a ton when it's at the end of a massive pole. That's what she said. Boom, boom. <laughs> Getting all the looks. Getting all the looks. We also stare back. <laughs> I went to LA recently. I didn't live stream and record it. I still the first job at home. I was live streaming in LA. And I was getting all the looks. <laughs> Which you, you think is interesting because obviously LA, it's uh, the land of Hollywood, so cameras is their normal day thing. And oh my God, how dare you! Ah, oh, look at this face, just, just teasing me, testing me. The devil put those sweets there for me. Belgian waffles, not Belgian waffles. I'll get some when I get back. Maybe after my Chinese. <laughs> I'm going to front, I'm getting loads. That's an angry little skip here. Yeah, where is it? Ooh, do I want Chinese or do I want calamari? All the sea is making me think of calamari. Oh, another Chinese, Cindy and Wong. That kind of smells here, if I'm honest. Let's go back to the water side. You know what? Let's walk up the water side. Much more interesting than walking down here. Probably gonna smell more, but man, whatever. <sighs> okay, so. Aquarium. Nice. I missed a trick the other day. I was underneath the Orismund Bridge, which if you don't know, is the bridge which connects Copenhagen to Sweden. And uh, I should have recorded that, but I've got a feeling we did it quite a lot because I think I need to go to Sweden quite a lot now. So hopefully next time I'll get that captured. People just stare at the camera. Just stare like you, 
you see people walking around in selfie sticks all the time. You see people filming all the time. Why is it so weird that I've got a camera on in my hand? Don't feed the seagull. Chips. Chips is not what they want. By the way, if my voice is annoying, you just mute me. <laughs> I'll pull that from the beginning, actually. If I talk too much, just mute me. I know some people would like to look at the sights. Close to the seafront. Kind of makes sense since you know it was heading this way with the boats in it and everything. I thought it, it bent round, but it does not. It goes straight this way. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go stick by the water's front, water's edge. Big ass police boat. Well, not that big, I guess, but big enough. Unless they're both police boats. That one definitely is. And looks like it could be. But one definitely is. And that is not very clean looking water. I will not be swimming in that. the travel show. Just show a place that I've been to. So people can get a feel for the area. People can know what they're letting themselves in for when they go to somewhere. Two fingers up, what an arsehole. You think you're so funny, but you're... Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to do my very, very, very best to curb my language.